Hey y'all, it's Krista. So um, I am tonight pouring over a canvas. I'm pouring over video number 11. Um, I'm not real pleased with it. And um, you know, if a canvas sits in your studio too long, uh, why not pour over it instead of using a new one? So um, I am, I have to tell you how blessed I am right now because y'all are giving me so much love on um, me taking over this business on my own. Um, I'm so happy that everyone is pleased with using Mix and um, you know, it's really important to me and I'm super passionate about it. Um, I pour my love into every bottle. I definitely do that. Um, but, um, let's get, let's get us down to the canvas before I get emotional and, um, we'll get started on what I'm going to do today. So my last pour, I used that Vallejo Pearl Medium and I got some really cool pearl cells in the corner and I thought to myself, you know what, I think this time I'm going to use it as my puddle in the middle and see it kind of spread out and do whatever it's going to do. So because this is a 24 inch by 24 inch Blick Museum Profile Canvas. I mean, it's got like the super deep edges. It's the two and three eighths edges, I believe. Um, I'm gonna fill this up and definitely need flow extender on the edge. So put this in the middle and let me tell you what I'm using today. I'm using all blues and silver and then the Vallejo. I'm using Amsterdam's Sky Blue Light. And I'm also using Amsterdam's Turquoise Blue. And Amsterdam's Greenish Blue. This is a lovely color, by the way. If you don't have it in your studio, um, make it happen because the color is gorgeous. This is Amsterdam's Thalo Blue. And then I also have an Amsterdam acrylic ink in the grayish blue. It's another lovely color. And you know, if I'm gonna use silver, I'm always going to use Deco Art Americana Metallics in the sterling silver. This is your cell maker. The regular silvers do not do that. Only the sterling silver does it. And I'm using, all by itself, like I did last time, the Vallejo Pearl Medium mixed one part of this to seven parts mix, and I got amazing little pearl cells. So, um, all right. Notice I'm not using white again. I'm a little bit crazy like that. Um, all right, so I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna save enough to pour my puddle, but I want to use this in the very beginning and I just wanna use a little bit. This is the Vallejo. And I'm gonna set it over here so that I don't feel like I need to use it a lot. And then I'll go into the sky blue light. And then I think I'll use the phthalo blue. And then I'll go into the grayish blue. And then I'm gonna use silver. The sterling silver is so pretty, y'all. All right, stop pouring. Then I'm gonna use the greenish blue. This color's so pretty. I just love it. So pretty. 
Then I'm going to use the turquoise blue. And then I'm going to use a little bit of that pearl again. Save enough for me to have my pouring puddle in the middle. Sky blue. Light. Sky blue light. And then I think I'll put the grayish blue on top of that this time. And put the greenish blue on top of that. The turquoise green, or the turquoise blue. And then I want to use the silver. Put a hefty chunk of it in there. Cause it to make a little cool shimmer on the outside. Then I'll use a phthalo blue. And go into the sky blue light again. And I'm gonna keep that right here because I'm gonna use it in a sec. Um, use the greenish blue. And the grayish blue. And put the silver on top of that grayish blue. And my cup is super full. Okay, now see I've got lots of flow extenders over here, so I'm good. I can water any of it down. So I'm gonna set this aside. And I'm going to pour my puddle in the middle. I'm excited about this pearl medium. Because I like what it did last time. So let's see what it does this time. Let's use it in a different way. Okay, that one's empty. I got some bubbles in here. Of course. All right. Let's go for the moment of truth, y'all. This is how you pour over a canvas. You know, if you're not happy with it, pour over it. All right. Three, two, one, let's do this. I just got real quiet, y'all. All right, I'm gonna stop this. Oh, that was a great catch. I was due for that, y'all. I was due for a great catch. All right. I got some cool stuff going on in here, but all right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make up my flow extenders. I'm going to torch this because I'm watching stuff pop up and I'm trying to see what it wants to do because I know that I'm not going to see that pearl until I start to stretch it. So, let's pop these bubbles that are now being and making and creating cells. Okay. I am going to get my water and we're going to make flow extenders. I love what's going on in here right now. 
I'm in a I'm in a thing right now where I can't decide whether I'm gonna wreck it or not. I don't really have the action that I normally have in a pour. So I don't know what I want to do yet. I think that my paint was too thick. That's been happening lately where the paint's too thick or my paints are too thick. But we'll all fix it, right? All right, this one was a little bit thinner than the rest of them to begin with. So I don't have to add much water to this one. It's because I use the acrylic ink. The acrylic ink, I think, thins it down a little bit. I mean, not terrible, but I think it thins it down a little bit. All right, that's that grayish blue. I love emptying cups, y'all know that. And I think I'm going to water down the turquoise blue. And put it in this corner. You know, I'll do more of my talking when I'm tilting because tilting is my favorite time to talk. I'm in thought process at the moment, trying to figure out what I want to do. And this is the greenish blue. I'm going to put it up in that other corner. Because it's already in this corner. You should see my dog right now. She's trying to find a comfy spot in her beanbag chair. If y'all if y'all have dogs and you didn't know, those high bag beanbag chairs make really great dog beds. They really do. They make great dog beds. Bella loves it. They kind of smush down and she uh, she has a blanket over it that's like her blanket. She's spoiled, but y'all already knew that. She is a spoiled dog. All right, that's the rest of my silver. I didn't have much left, so why not use it up, right? And then I'm gonna have one left over. And that's gonna be my phthalo blue. Set that aside. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell you, I got a new Lola Vethy mat. And um, the reason why I needed a new Lola Vethy mat is because I put a hole in my other one and through that hole, because I do fluid art, um, I was getting paint underneath my mat and you could see it in the video and, I, and you may not have noticed it, but I definitely did. Um, and I was, and it, you know, it's one of those things where you're like, I see it and it bothers me. So y'all know me well enough by now that I'm a little OCD and that everything needs to be clean and 
everything needs to be nice and so I'm a little bit crazy. All right, I've got some sweet lacing going on in here, but I think I'm gonna break it up. So I'm going to take my sticky stick on the side that I don't pick out things with, and I'm gonna wreck this pour. So I'm gonna take it through here. And then I'm going to start over here and swirl it through this way. That's better. That's better. I like what's going on in there now. All right. So because this canvas is so huge, I need to move everything out of the way or else I won't be able to turn it. Okay, it's tilting time, y'all. All right, so let's do this. We're gonna spin it around as usual, see what it wants to do. Open up all the cool stuff that's going on. All right, we'll bring it down this way. Now y'all can see what I'm seeing because now it's in bigger it's been stretched out. I don't want it to go all the way, and then I'm gonna make it go this way. Yeah, this canvas is huge. And I'm gonna just take it off that corner now that I'm down there. Okay. Then you know what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna bring it back. Yo, know, I am watching pearl stuff happen because of that um, pearl medium being underneath. I think it was a good choice for me to do that. All right, now I'm gonna bring it down this way and open up the cool stuff going on up here. That is definitely not going over evenly. Ah! This canvas is so big. Okay. We got Mina with the man handling. She man handles these canvases like a like a pro. Okay. Then we're gonna go this way. My new mat's getting broken in, y'all. And what's going on down there? Y'all can see better than I can because this canvas is so big. Okay. And I'm gonna turn it around. Bring it back because it's all kinds of crazy going on over here. And then I'm going to go this way. I need to tilt it this way a little bit and then let it keep going. You know what? I'm wearing the pair of tennis shoes that I think I ruined because of this canvas. Because I didn't keep it on the table and it dripped on my shoes. That's all right. We're fluid artists, right? That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to have paint on everything. No excuses, right? 
Okay. And then we're gonna bring that back. All right, we're gonna reposition this painting because all the cool stuff that's going on is up in this corner. So I'm gonna take it down this way. And stretch it out. See these cool cells happening up here? It's awesome. All right, then we're gonna tilt it this way a little bit. And do I stop? Do I not stop? What do I do here? Definitely have some corner issues going on here. Let me catch this, see if I want to do any more stretching. I just want to make sure my corners are gotten, you know, gotten. I'm definitely loving this pearl stuff. There's this stuff popping up that I wasn't expecting. You know, Leonardo looking at me. My gnome Vinci. He's a little cutie. I think he needs a girlfriend. I think uh, I'm gonna call Liz and ask her if she can make Leonardo a girlfriend. Because if I'm gonna get a gnome, I'm getting it from her because she is awesome. As I'm catching my corners, I'm looking at this canvas and wondering do I want to touch it anymore? I don't know if I do. I think I may leave it alone, y'all. Because I'm watching things develop. I mean, it's definitely going to change after I shut the video off. But, um,. Yeah, I've got some cool stuff going on in here. I think I want to torch it. I'm going to take my gloves off. You know, I'm probably like, stop touching it. You're yelling at me. totally see it. It's right here. I'd rather get it while it's wet. Bella. You know you love her. All right, let me come get you. You can check it out. See what I mean about these little pearls popping up? They're not done. This, this is not over. They will keep popping up as the paint is sinking into that pearl. So that's kind of cool. All right, let me take you up here to this corner. This is my favorite corner. You know, everybody has a favorite corner. This one's mine. Nice little swirl action right here, leading up to some amazing little pearl cells. There's definitely a transparency alert in here. 
and right up in here. I know that it's blues on blues on blues, but they're really making something special. Look at that super cool cell. I love it. And then see that lacing that I got in that white using that pearl next to that sky blue. I don't know what it is with the sky blue light, but sky blue light and white next to each other tends to make that really cool lacing. Then you come up here. It's another cool corner where pearl stuff is developing. And then we come down this side. That's awesome right there. All that action right in there. I love that I kind of centered that bit. But all right, y'all. This is my big boy, the 24 by 24. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye, y'all.